A severe storm also took a toll on campers coming to enjoy the 4th of July weekend here in the Northwoods. Jamil Donath shows us the damage done at Itasca State Park and how this could affect business this holiday. A holiday vacation ended short for many campers at Itasca State Park, struck by severe storms Monday evening. Hit the seat and made the statement, we're sitting ducks in here, and then uh, just like that, it, it hit. The family inside this red truck, when it was smashed by a falling tree, are leaving the park early, but they say they are lucky to be leaving at all. It's a miracle. Yep, that, that's replaceable. Throughout the 32,000 acres of Itasca State Park, trees are toppled over, campsites are covered in debris, and families are picking up the pieces of their belongings. We're, we're lucky, nothing hit our camper, nothing hit the truck, but uh, we could be getting towed home today. <laughs> Brad John spent hours Monday evening helping his fellow campers remove equipment trapped beneath fallen trees family was in the car, two kids in the back seat and a mom and dad in the front. Like this family, whose tent was completely destroyed in the storm. Our friend here dragged it out so that we could get our, our equipment out of the tent. On the north end of the park, Itasca Sports employees were up till 5 a.m. cleaning up a tree that fell onto their marina. We crushed one of our boat motors and the winds actually uh, ripped off like three of our pontoon canopies. While everyone is thankful there were no injuries, the real casualty for Minnesota State Parks on their busiest holiday weekend is the calm after the storm. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. Itasca State Park is open and campsite reservations are being honored. LaSalle Park, south of Bemidji, has been evacuated and, and is closed in addition to others in the area. You can visit mndnr.gov to check current Minnesota park conditions. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.